So I've now made my way down here into Old Town for something I've been so, so excited to show you all. I would go as far to say as they're the best toilets at any Merlin bean bar I've ever been in. Flattened and demolished. And yeah, there's just a load of debris currently lying there. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Oh yes, today I'm here at the Fort Park Resort for my first visit during the park's actual open season. During winter, I was here like every week or so, going down Monk's Walk and checking out all of the winter updates. But since the park's open, I've literally been here once for the annual pass day. But yeah, today I am once again back at the island like no other, ready to head in and show you guys loads and loads of exciting updates that have happened at the park since it opened a few weeks ago. So yeah, let's head in. So my first thing to discuss today is here in the dome. Now, if you watched my last Fort Park update video before the park officially opened, at the very end of that video, I mentioned that there was due to be some kind of new photo opportunity coming to the dome. Some kind of um, photo opportunity um, underneath like the screen in there where the uh, event boards are. Now, as of yet, unless I'm missing something massive, nothing has changed here in the dome. However, I was told that apparently it's happening underneath this screen, kind of in front of the event banners. And as of yet, we still don't really know too much about what this photo opportunity is gonna be. It's apparently a callback to the past of Fort Park. But yeah, as of yet, nothing has happened here in the dome, but I believe we're getting closer and closer to that photo opportunity, hopefully being put in. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. But one thing that I can actually show you guys is actually underneath the dome, because this corridor, which was closed for ages um, during COVID and stuff, is now open. That's not the update, but no, obviously this corridor actually leads down into the lower dome where the toilets are, which have been going over a apparently major um, refurbishment. Now, it's a bit of a weird one, because I obviously don't want to film um, toilets if there's people in there, so I'm gonna go and have a look, and if it's empty, I'll show you guys the updates. <laughs> Oh my god, that was not a fun one to go and film. The things I do to keep you guys updated. Um, but yeah, those toilets are looking really, really nice. I would go as far to say as they're the best toilets at any Merlin bean bar I've ever been in. So essentially, um, the sinks now have like three-way taps. So one does soap, one does water, and one light is a hand dryer. And then the toilets themselves have like lights above them. Um, they're green when the cubicle is free and they go red when the cubicle is occupied. So yeah, it just all seems very extra for some toilets that previously were never that special, but now the toilets under the dome are the place to go if you need to go to the toilet here at Fort Park. They are very, very posh indeed. But yeah, I've now made my way over to the um, cantina area. Just a little minor update to show you guys. This um, pathway, which leads down by the side of Saw Alive, obviously where the Crows of Morkin Meadow was located last year, is still closed off. So yeah, hopefully we'll be seeing that opening up as soon as possible. I believe it's because they were kind of redoing some of the fencing. So yeah, hopefully they'll get that sorted and that pathway will be able to reopen again nice and soon. Well, I was very excited to show you all my next update. However, things haven't quite gone to plan because behind me, we've got High Striker. Obviously, the new ride here at the park this year. I do that because obviously it was previously located over in Old Town under the name Lumberjump. However, this ride has now opened for the 2022 season. It wasn't quite ready for the annual pass day or the first few days of opening, but yeah, it is now open. And uh, I say this update hasn't quite gone to plan because today, it's actually closed. I don't know why, but yeah, I do promise guys that it is normally open and you should be able to ride it on your normal day here. It's had like a full new audio package as well, which sounds really nice. It helped it kind of fit into the Amity area. Yeah, it's just a shame that it's uh, not open today. <laughs> So I've now made my way around into Amity where I've once again got a few exciting updates to discuss with you guys. First of all, I feel like it's finally time I address the tidal wave fire. Now, of course, this has been like a massive weird thing um, that's taken place over the past year or so. Back when it was first mentioned in like my pre-season video last year, 
and we've kind of waited all season to see what's going on with it. But as of yet, we have seen no fire come from this uh, set piece in the middle of the tidal wave lake. Now, just from looking over here, you can see that we've had some new additions going in the form of some red boys and obviously some barrels have been added to this kind of metal platform. So to me, obviously from an untrained eye, it does look like they are doing work to this area to hopefully get the tidal wave fire working because it's, it's long overdue at this point and I really hope that we, uh, we get to see it one day, sooner rather than later, hopefully. I've just got my fingers crossed for the sake of Ross, to be honest, that it does finally happen um, at some point this season, hopefully. Um, but yeah, just behind me over here, we've obviously got the um, Thrill Makers stage, which I briefly mentioned in my last update, but that is now kind of fully completed. And yeah, we now know that kind of the roaming characters around the park, the roaming Ents team this year, are the Thrill Makers. They've been like making their own TikToks and stuff, on Fort Park's official new TikTok account. So yeah, keep an eye out for the thrill makers. I think they do some shows on this stage um, throughout the day. And yeah, they also kind of roam around the park on their little tuk-tuk bikes. So yeah, keep an eye out for the thrill makers this year. So I feel like this is quite a good spot to tell you guys a nice bit of news. Because obviously just behind me, we've got what was the brand new maze at Fort Park Fright Nights last year, trailers. Now at Fort Park Fright Nights and a number of the attractions that are at Fort Park Fright Nights 2021 have actually been nominated for a number of ScareCon awards, which is really exciting and good news for the park. Now the maze just behind me, trailers has been nominated for the best set and design award. Next up, trailers has also been nominated for the best costume and makeup obviously some of the actors in there were terrifying we've also had the crows of morkin meadow obviously the brand new scare zone at fright nights 2021 nominated for the best scare zone and roaming characters award and then we've had fright nights as a whole event been nominated for the best entertainment and the best theme park event during like halloween so yeah big up full park for being nominated for all of those and uh yeah once these awards happen in a few months time i'll let you guys know if full park managed to win any So I've now made my way down here into Old Town for something I've been so, so excited to show you all. Obviously just behind me, we have the construction wall for the upcoming roller coaster at the park, Project Exodus. Now, this construction wall previously was just fully white, hey up. We got a lot of uh, official looking people over here with lanyards on. That's some good timing, isn't it? Maybe they're checking out Project Exodus. Um, but yeah, here on this fence, we have now had a load of advertisement boards going on. Now, in my previous update, these were being like, put on literally as I was doing the update, um, but they have all now gone on. Now, the interesting thing with these advertisement boards is at the end of um, the construction walls, they're currently blank. Now I'm wondering the reason as for this, because they very easily could have just had these um, boards kind of extend all the way around. However, these have purposely been left and I'm wondering if that might be because there's some exciting posters that are due to go up here. Obviously, maybe once plans progress, because at the moment, planning permission has not yet been accepted for this brand new roller coaster. I will of course let you guys know as soon as it does. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that maybe we could be seeing some exciting graphics going up here or maybe, who knows, the budget just ran out and they just couldn't um, get posters all the way on this board. But yeah, it's super exciting and there are a few tiny little gaps in this construction bend. So I'm gonna go and head round and try and film one of those for you now. But yeah, I'll show you guys all of these event boards now. As you can see, we've obviously got the four main events coming to the park this year. We've got Mardi Gras here, uh, we've got Carnival, and then just around the corner, we've also got Oktoberfest and we've got Fright Nights. But yeah, do you see what I mean, guys? Like they could have very easily just extended these banners around the entire fence, but they purposely haven't. And I'm wondering why. So as I said, it is proving very, very tricky to even get a glimpse 
into the Project Exodus construction site. However, you can just about look through that white fence if you really, really try. And if you do, Fort Park have actually left a brilliant little Easter egg for those uh, hardcore fans that are trying to get any glimpse they can. Um, basically, on the old Curly Fry unit, of all places, they've actually put some uh, signs. There's one that says it's very rude to stare. Obviously, people are going to be filming that area and focusing on that area so much over the next few years. So yeah, people are very much going to be staring into that area. There's another one that just says, hey, what are you looking at? There's one that says, where did everybody vanish to? Because obviously, at the end of last season, Old Town was open. It was a booming place, obviously, with Fright Nights especially and Creek Freak Massacre in there. Um, and then all of a sudden, this season, it's open with very few rides in there and absolutely no guests. So yeah, that's a funny one. And then my favourite sign uh, just says, don't know, they just left in some exodus. Now, this is, of course, in reference to the project name, because obviously, this roller coaster hasn't got an official name yet. So in like construction documents and everything, it's just being referred to as Project Exodus. Now, I could sit here and talk to you guys for hours and hours um, about this exciting new ride and construction area, but I'm gonna be filming a very exciting video um, that will be out fairly soon all about Project Exodus. Um, so yeah, I'll save all of my rambles for that video, um, but I have got another place here in the park to show you where some major construction has been taking place for what could very likely be for Project Exodus as well. So here I am at the exit to Nemesis Inferno, where just over my shoulder, we've had some pretty major deconstruction take place. Obviously here, we previously had the finale of, um, well, many horror mazes over the years. There was basically a shed with like a, a big fence and everything um, for originally the maze Blair Witch many, many years ago. But most recently it was used for the Roots of Evil scare maze back in 2020. But yeah, now this whole fence has just been completely flattened and demolished. And yeah, there's just a load of debris currently lying there. Now I'm actually going to head down Monk's Walk because I think we'll get a really really good view of other kind of deconstruction that's been taking place. But yeah I'll do that in another very exciting video coming soon. A video that I've been waiting so many years to make let me tell you that. Now in my opinion all of this deconstruction could have been taking place for two main potential reasons. The first of which could be for a new Fright Nights maze. Obviously in the past this area was used Hey, You're right, how you doing? Not bad, construction. Yeah, what's all this about? Shout out to the Nemesis crew. Yeah, big up, big up. Keep it up. Have a good day, man. Yeah, yeah obviously, previously this space has been used for um, Fright Nights mazes, so we could potentially be seeing this area being cleared for more Fright Nights mazes, maybe a scare zone, or potentially even a brand new maze. Now, that's the first option. Now, the second reason, in my opinion, is a little bit more exciting, and that is it could potentially be for this upcoming roller coaster, Project Exodus. Obviously, Old Town is the area in which this roller coaster is due to get built, and that's quite a tricky area of the park to get access to for like construction vehicles and everything. You actually have to currently drive through that gate with the exciting um, new graphic on it um, next to Burger King. So, this very well could be them clearing this area of the park so they get better access, literally parallel to Monk's Walk, um, where you can get better access to Old Town and Project Exodus. And that is the reason why I'm gonna head down Monk's Walk in another video. But yeah, I just can't believe it. I'm pretty sure this is the um, grate on the front of the um, kind of main engine for the Sleeper Express. It looks like it to me. But yeah, how mental is that? The entire old Fright Night maze is just gone. Just behind me, we've had the brand new Colossus vinyl go on to the Fort Park lettering. As you can see, it's obviously celebrating 20 years of Colossus. That's absolutely crazy. It was my first ever um, roller coaster here at Fort Park. So yeah, I've got a lot of love for Colossus. And yeah, these letters look amazing with this new vinyl print. Just up on the uh, Colossus Bridge, you can actually get a good shot of the new fencing that's going on along the um, Saw Alive path. So hopefully that path will be open fairly soon because it looks pretty much ready.
So that brings me to the end of today's Fort Park update video. I thought I'd end next to the brand new playground just down here. Unfortunately, not a lot has changed since I filmed my previous videos. Um, but yeah, hopefully this playground will be opening nice and soon. But yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing all of the updates today. As I said, I'm filming a very, very exciting video soon. It's the start of a series that I've been waiting so many years to film. And yeah, it all kicks off very soon when that video comes out. But yeah, if you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to leave a thumbs up. And of course, be sure to subscribe for even more Fort Park videos. And otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. My name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye.